Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I made this. It's a dimmable diffused LED panel. Hopefully this will make lighting in my videos a lot better. Let's see how I made it. So the first thing you're going to want to need to do is find an old LCD monitor and make sure that the backlight is LED because this circuit that I designed only works with LED backlights. And here we're going to look at the circuit now. As you can see up in this corner, the 7805 will take any 12 volt DC supply and convert it into 5 volts DC. And we're using this because the PWM input and the enable input on the LED circuit board for most LED circuit boards require 5 volts. 12 volts will fry it. This 555 timer circuit is used to vary the brightness of the LEDs. It does that by creating a pulse width modulation signal. It does that by using the potentiometer right here and the capacitor, the values of those, to change the width of the pulse, that is how long the LED is turned on and turned off between a duty cycle, as you can see here in this graph, and then that in turn will change the brightness of the LEDs. Because it is turning on and off at a frequency higher than what the vision can perceive, it looks like the LEDs are getting dim or getting bright based on how fast they are returned on and off in the duty cycle. The LED brightness PWM signal the 12 volts, the 5 volts, and ground are ran to a connector that will connect it directly to the LED control board that comes with the LCD monitor. Once you've found an LCD that has an LED backlight and you've taken it apart, generally the LCD has a separate board that you can just remove the LCD screen and its controller board from the panel and you don't have to worry about anything breaking. With mine, it has a separate LED control board that was really small, so I only had to accommodate my electronics to work with that and not with anything else. The electronics enclosure that I designed, I used 123D design, and I'm going to show you some of the features. You can see that there's holes set up for all the things. There's a lid, and that's where the potentiometer goes through. There's mounting points. I lined up the holes to line up with holes specifically on the metal panel that holds the LCD screen. This is a mount I made specifically for mounting it to a tripod and I put three holes in it and these holes would be bolted directly to the metal frame. The metal frame didn't actually have the holes in a place that I wanted so I drilled the holes through the metal myself and it mounts and holds really well and it's balanced in the place I put it. If you're going to be making one of these you want to find a place after the electronics are mounted so you can get a good sense of where the center mass will be or a good place where if you mount it you can angle it at different angles and it won't be top heavy at any given place. Now unless you have the exact LED controller board and you have the same size circuit board that I made, the electronics box isn't going to be too helpful especially with the holes on the back lining up exactly with holes that are made for the frame that I have. But the tripod mount will totally work with any plans you would ever make. So I'm going to I'll release both of those on Thingiverse. But just be warned that the electronics box might not work at all for you. And you might have to alter it or design your own. Hey guys, I'd like to say thanks for watching this video again. If you liked it, please give it a like. Is this project done? Who knows? Wouldn't a portable battery be really cool?